I'll just show you a little trick for uh, removing the DF13s from the Pixhawk. So if you've plugged a DF13 in and you don't want it in that port um, for whatever reason, get yourself a, a USB cable, you know, with the flat like that. Okay, and I'll show you why. Coming in from this side of the connector, so you've got your arrow on the Pixhawk, so you come in from that side, you get that flat piece under the hole of the DF13 connector like this, so you get it all in there and then you lever it from side to side and out it pops. And you can see we want to go in on that side because it has that ridge there. That ridge along there, whereas the other side does not. There's no ridge there, just a couple of little nodules that we don't want to tear off. So that's why we always come in on this side. I'll just show you again with the telemetry port. So again with the flat of the USB cable, we slip it in under there. So it's tight, lever from side to side. And there you go. You definitely don't want to pull on the cable to rip it out because these sockets are only surface mounted on top of the printed circuit board in there. They're not pins through the board, they're just surface mounted on the top. So what can happen is if you pull on this cable, you'll actually lift that socket off the board and lift the uh, tracks off the board as well. Um, so that's just a little tip. I know there's other YouTube videos showing you that, but I thought while I was here, I might as well give a quick demo of that.